Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome again to my channel, Eric Broaddus YouTube. I say welcome again to my channel, Eric Broaddus YouTube. And today's topic, I want to just briefly cover some military content. And in today's topic, what I want to um, briefly um, touch on and discuss is um, dress and appearance um, in the military. Again, dress and appearance in the military. Now, what brings me um, to this topic is um, the thought I had was that um, the United States military is renowned all over the world. It's known all over the globe. And oftentimes, um, people have ideas or impressions of the, um, the armed forces or even members um, that serve in the military. And so the reason why I, I bring this up, it was always, um, it's always pressed upon um, military members. And those of you um, that have served and are currently serving, you, you guys know this. You know, um, they take us through um, what's called um, dress inspections, where they'll have um, servicemen and service um, women line up in formation, and they'll basically have them sized up and they will have military members um, put in a position of what's known as parade rest whereas where you're in a standing position with your hands behind your back you know saying but clasped together and what happens is that when the inspector comes by to um, look at your dress and appearance they're inspecting you know everything from your uniform um, your boots you know they're looking for anything such as strings um, they also are um, for men they're looking to make sure that um, your hair is um, um, neatly cut or it is within, within regulations and also that your beard and mustache you know are within um, regulations and if you happen to have a beard normally they want you clean shaven for these inspections but if you happen to have a beard then you have to have what's known as a shaving waiver you know which allows you to um, have a beard while um, in uniform uh, for the women they're um, looking at you know um, the bulk and, and girth you know of your hair you know how high it can be you know uh, are there loose ends towards the backs and, and they're also looking at your uniform also you know looking for anything from wrinkles you know what I'm saying um, is the uniform is it clean dry and serviceable or um, does it look really worn out you know do you have you know holes in it does it look like it's run down and like you need to go and purchase a new um, uniform now um, what are some of the reasons for this well number one um, dress and appearance while in uniform and um, adhering to the standards um, they are military standards that must be adhered to and it is part of your job to adhere to these standards because um, the military looks at it this way that you represent um, your country for one second you also um, represent your branch of service and then third you represent yourself so um, even though you know some individuals may think that people are not looking you know some are more um, scrutinizing or either more detailed and pay more attention than others people may not say anything but they are looking and when you're in an institution or an outfit such as the United States military you know everybody you know, knows about it you know so how you wear your uniform and how um, you keep yourself groomed you know um, it sends a message you know to the outside world and also to um, your leaders you know it sends a message peer-to-peer -to, -peer to your peers and also to those that are junior to you in rank and so there's an old saying or an adage that goes first impressions are lasting ones and you know you want to make sure that you leave a good impression because a picture is worth a thousand words you know especially for an um you know outfits such as the military when people think of the military they think of someone that is sharp they think of someone that is um that is disciplined you know um when they think of members in the military or the military period you know they think of you know um strength somebody that's physically fit you know so these are definitely things that you want to consider 
um, while you're in uniform because you may be the only representative of the United States or the only representative of your branch of service or the military that somebody may see and you want to make sure that um, that you're on point and that you leave a lasting impression you know and besides you know it's part of um, it is your duties and responsibilities to to do so you know um, you know there's been um, some um, at times throughout my military career career where I excuse me I had um, um, seen certain a, a few here or there military members that I'm talking about they just look like duffel bags in a uniform and they made a bad rep representation you know of themselves and also of their branch of service you know they look like duffel bags look like they just um, grabbed the uniform you know out of a garbage can and just just threw it on you know and then some you know in uniform you know are um, the uniforms not done and then also they're out of shape you know which is a, a, you know another knock you know if you're going to um, wear that uniform um, you should wear it with pride you know you should wear it with pride you know it's not enough just to um, have um, knowledge of your job and be good at your job but there are other components that the military um, in itself it has a a lot of um, different components to it that make up the whole and as a member in the armed forces you're gonna have to fill all those blocks and you are your um, performance reports you know will will show that you are rated on that but you want to make sure that you leave a, um, a, a good impression you know make sure that you know your, your hair your um, hair hygiene all of that that is, is um, it should exceed standards you know definitely especially with your hygiene and with your hygiene you should not you know saying just be meeting standards you you, know, you personally should exceed that you know and that that's a matter of just being clean and personal cleanliness and, and pride you know and you have to um, work with others and you come in contact with um, you know different types of people and so you know what type of impression do you want to leave you know make sure that the um, like I said again the minimum standards is to make sure that your uniform including um, boots or shoes are clean dry and serviceable but you should go above that if you have um, um, boots a lot of the, the boots that they wear now or the combat boots you don't necessarily um, have them that you have to shine you know you have different types of uniforms now you know ACUs you know and then if you go into the desert so a lot of your boots they have to match the uniform so a lot of them you don't even have to shine anymore but you want to make sure that um, the, you know the boots are not worn down make sure that the heels are not worn down you know um, the military gives clothing allowances to replace these items you know after a certain wear out weight you get a clothing allowance I believe once a year so you know um, you know use that you know to keep um, your uniforms up to par now some members they take um, the uniforms to the cleaners um, but a lot of a lot of the uniforms now they recommend that you could either just just wa wash them and then and wash and wear you know just hang them up after you wash them and they should be good to go but um, some people will take their uniforms to the cleaners just to give them you know uh, extra um, crisp you know um, look you know it does look more professional you know and make sure like I said stay within the standards you know exceed the standards as far as the um, the grooming you know um, in most cases with most military members they're going to be clean shaven and they may you know they may have a mustache now in the event that those that um, do have a beard they have a shaving waiver which allows them to have a beard there's going to be so each branch of service is going to have their specific regs on um, what their standards are on how to um, how long the beard may be how thick it may be and how to groom it so that it looks neat and, and crisp in appearance but you know um, my thing is this um, just you know for those that are thinking about going into the military this is just a heads up for you you know um, and how on what the military standards are and how they feel about dress and appearance so you want to make sure that your uniform and your hygiene and grooming standards exceed the standards and that they are on point and also you know care about what you look like in your uniform you know um, you know make sure that you're in shape make your PT test you know and don't just settle just to make the minimum standard seek to exceed it and get the highest 
um, standard that you can because you want to be fit you know not just to look good in uniform but also for your own health and once you do join the military you are considered government issue once you swear in and sign your name on that dotted line you are property of the United States government and it is therefore your responsibility to make sure that um, your uniforms are up to par that your hygiene and grooming standards um, are definitely above reproach and also that you are fit that um, your physical fitness must be maintained that is all part of the job but um, this is all I have for this video but just want to um, give you something to think about for those of you that are already in um, you know the drill you know but sometimes we need a little bit of reminder and for those that are thinking about going in um, these are part of the standards that um, um, you will be held to and what the military will expect from you regardless of what branch of service you go in they are all going to expect that their regs may be um, named differently but pretty much the standards are going to be um, close to, to the same there may be some slight variations some may be a little bit more streamlined than others but um, you know don't go around looking like a duffel bag in um, your uniform and make sure your hygiene and grooming standards are you know are impeccable you know you may be the only representative of America that someone may see and also may be the only representative of your branch of service that someone may see and lastly you represent yourself so just think about it guys but uh, again the name of this um, video the topic was um, military dress and appearance and the name of my YouTube channel is Eric Broadus YouTube that's E R I C B R O A D U S YouTube or Eric Broadus YouTube.com and I also have a podcast on anchor which is called snack stocks that's S N A K Z T H O U G H T S and you can find um, snack stocks on anchor um, SoundCloud Spotify um, Spreaker um, iTunes, Apple Podcasts, Radio PPM, and a host of other social media platforms. So please um, join me on Snack Start, subscribe, and share my podcast, push that out. And also for Eric Brothers YouTube, um, do me a favor, smash um, that bell to subscribe, and also smash that like button, and leave comments. I'd love to dialogue with you. And when you hit that bell, um, that is so that you'll be subscribed and you'll get any um, future podcasts, live streams, anything uh, and videos that is going on with this channel and also with my podcast, Snack Thoughts. But share um, Snack Thoughts and Eric Broadus YouTube. Share it with your friends, enemies, frenemies, associates, co workers, bats, cats, rats, roaches, dogs, whatever. Share it and push it out. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace, guys. Later.